everybody. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Willie. I'm Jessica. And I'm Alexis. We're students at Mississippi State who have been looking into aspects of construction that might interest y'all. That's right. We've been traveling the state, observing why construction matters. We want to show you, through our eyes, what we have seen and experienced. Over the next two minutes, we hope to uncover the importance of construction to recycling. From recycling old roads, to tires, to scrap metal, construction makes a home for them all. Exactly, so stick with us and catch a glimpse into why construction matters to recycling. Despite what some may think, the construction industry tries to recycle almost everything. We visited projects and labs where engineers, chemists, and other professionals were using sophisticated techniques to find ways to build with recycled materials such as old tires, shingles, and even old pavement. Through these visits, we had one of those aha moments that construction and recycling go hand in hand. According to the National Asphalt Pavement Association, over 75 million tons of reclaimed asphalt pavement, or RAP, was reused in 2017, saving taxpayers just over $2 billion while being the most recycled material in America. Now that's something to rap about. What's RAP? Pavement taken from the street, but wait, we give it back. That's RAP. Nice work, Willie. At any age, pavement can still be recycled. For us, 75 million tons took on a new meaning when only one pile was like hiking up a mountain. In the past, we appreciated new and smooth roads. Now, we appreciate them more knowing they used the old milled pavement as part of the new mix. Asphalt isn't the only recycler, steel is too. Scrap metals from appliances, old buildings, and crushed cars are added to a specific mixture, depending on their chemical composition, to make a new, usable steel. When we hopped on the bus at the steel mill, it felt like we were heading to Oz. We all agree that making steel is like baking a cake. A scoop of this, a scoop of that, except now you replace your baking pan and spoons with commercial loaders and dump trucks. After the steel is produced, the recycling doesn't stop there. A material called steel slag is also recycled. Just like in the kitchen, they use a pot. It's just a steel slag pot is a lot bigger. Unlike my kitchen, when their pot dumps, it's on purpose. We watched molten slag be processed into a hardened aggregate that is used as a construction material for many different applications. Interestingly, several of the process steps used to develop the slag were like those used to make gravel aggregates and suddenly it didn't feel like Oz anymore. In two minutes, we can't show you all construction does for recycling, but steel and old pavement are two great examples. We learned a lot while bringing you the last two minutes, so join us next time as we leap into a new topic on why construction matters.